Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are checking out Monster by Gavis Battle. Now, this has been requested by quite a few of you guys actually, so I'm quite excited to check this out. Uh, a lot of you guys have said that this is a pretty good chance to really hear how his voice sounds like and what kind of songs he likes to do. So let's just jump right on into things in 3, 2, 1, play. Okay. Interesting. Already we've got this acoustic-esque bass drum, but it's accompanied by a digital clap drum and a pretty high-pitched synth. So we've got already got a pretty unique instrumentation here. Let me introduce myself. Okay. Okay. Some people live for attention, playing the victim, but baby, I was born to do the killing. I see Okay. Ooh. Okay, I was a little unsure at the beginning. At the beginning, you know, we got a big vocal isolation, but pretty heavy digital effect on the vocals there, and I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but at this segment, oh, backed by the guitar and uh, just the guitar really backing the rhythm of his voice. And then we got to hear him and get a little more growl into his voice. He sounds awesome there. I really, really like how he sounds here. All right. Nice. Ooh. Nice on the transition to the feed baby got a pinch har or a pitch harmonic there. That was nice. Nice. Ooh, nice. We got some vocal backing there too. Nice. Mm, we're getting some, I believe it's harmonization there, but that sounds a little bit off. Alright, that sounds good. Alright, alright, so let's analyze this a little more. So we're getting some pretty bass heavy instrumentation and we've got his vocals really sitting on the edge between a mid tone and a bass tone but we're getting these repetitive treble interjections with the synth and also some guitar i believe uh, especially when it gets up to that pitch harmonic it's, it sounds really really nice getting it up high on on those interjections and especially when we get his vocal jumps uh we heard at the beginning when he says baby really that second syllable of the baby uh, you hear him really jump up high and get that treble tonality from his voice and he sounds awesome i i kind of i i kind of i was unsure of his voice when i really heard that sort of reliance on that nasal tone but i've come to really really like that i actually really like how he's handling his vocal tonality when he's singing there and he's getting this nasal tone, but he can still really emphasize that with his growls. And he still has good pitch control. So it's very, very satisfying to hear him uh, dish out these lines. It sounds really nice, even with digital effect. Because, you know, digital effect, I was uncertain at the beginning. But it's not diminishing uh, the vocals. It's not suppressing the vocals. And we can still hear his voice through the effect. So a lot of times I'm very harsh when the songs have a heavy digital effect on their vocals, but here I quite like how it's being used. I will say there were some questionable applications of uh, vocal backing. You know, sometimes we got a backing vocal track that to support the main vocal and it didn't quite sound right. But aside from that, it, it, I've, I'm really liking how this cover is going. Okay.
All right, so it sounds like we're getting an arpeggiated synth to fill in the treble tone now well i say treble tone but we're really his voice kind of lifted but i'd say this is like his voice right now feels like it's bridging the gap a bridging between a mid-tone and a high tone a mid-tone and a treble tone but the arpeggiated synth here it's it's almost throwing me off a bit Ooh, i like that I, I really, really like the guitar. And then on this part, the guitar sounds so good. I The only, only complaint I have on the guitar is please just dial back the bass a tiny bit. It doesn't need that much bass. You, you don't need that much bass on your guitar. Your distortion is going to fill in that deeper tone for you. You do not need to emphasize the bass to the point where it is getting muddled or muddied or whatever you call it <laughs> but uh, you don't need that much bass on your guitar track you have a bass guitar for a reason it, but uh, other than that i really really like that guitar it, the the tonality on the guitar aside from the excessive bass is so so satisfying when his ba when his vocal track gets more intense and you can hear the velocity of his air you can hear him adding a growl here and there it sounds so good with that guitar nice got the fish harmonic on the feed me Nice. Mm, okay, so now I'm listening to this part again. It sounds like, so we get a growl and then it, the next part is clean. And then instead of a growl on the following segment that uh, references the first growl, we get vocal backing instead. So the vocal backing here the first time, I didn't really like it, but let's hear it this time. Let's see. All right, I, I like the vocal backing a lot more this time. I don't know if that's just because I got used to it or if it's because it's better performed at this time around, but the vocal backing this time sounds good here. I, I like the application of vocal backing here. Just on this part, the that in the it's not too far back in the mix, but it's it's a not quite at the level of the main vocal. You can hear that treble based lead guitar just doing these subtle lulls back from uh, from a very high pitch, and it sounds so so good as an interjection. The composition for this uh, for this song has been fantastic so far. Ooh, that was a nice since we're coming back uh, since we're kind of like mellowing a bit down on the monster monster i i don't know if that was intentional but to me it sounded like he knew the we were sort of mellowing out a bit on the monster monster so he added a, a big inhale you know he added like a gasp almost to emphasize or to really add intensity where it was descending that was really really nice Right there. Right there, nice. Mm. Wait, that that his voice sounds really good there, but why is why does it sound like the vocal track is popping there? It should not be popping. His vocal track should not be popping there. Now, well, it wasn't popping before, or at least I didn't notice it popping, so I don't know if they added 
a, a bit of digital effect there and that's causing the vocal track to pop but his vocal track should not be popping there there's no reason why it should suddenly be popping there um unless his like pop filter broke or something like Because his voice there, it sounds excellent, but the track itself, it has these pops and these clicks, and those do not sound intentional. That's, it, his voice sounds amazing there, but why is his track popping there? He sounds amazing, but that should not be popping. That... That might be an issue with the studio or his mic. I'm not sure, but it should not be popping there. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if I just didn't notice it before, but I am noticing some pretty bad popping on the vocal track. Why is that? He sounds awesome, but why is it popping? It should... That that has to... I mean, that can't have gone unnoticed. I'm, I mean, that's very obvious popping there, and it does not sound good. It is definitely detracting from some amazing vocals we're getting from Metal here. Nice. Nice. I really, really like. I really, really like how he ended this saying there with that nasal quality. It's a, it's almost a signature at this point. Coming up high with that nasal quality. For okay, big suppression. I'm assuming we're gonna get a quick transition. Yep, okay, nice. That guitar is perfect. Alright. That was really good. Gavis, uh, Gavis Metal. Really, really good vocals from him. I really liked that. Uh, I'm going to go back to see if there was any vocal popping towards the beginning because I did not notice any at the beginning. Yeah, his vocals sound excellent there. Why... Why did it start popping here? Yeah, there's... I, I Maybe his pop filter broke, or maybe that's just a mixing error, but the, his vocals sound amazing, and they were fine at the beginning, but they just started popping at the beginning. And when I say popping, it's like you can hear the really the air from his... The air he's exhaling is hitting the mic and it's interfering with the sound. So especially when you get those pu or t pu, you know, those um, those emphasized exhal exhalations of air, they're hitting the mic. You know, I've got a pop filter right here. And the purpose of it is so that when I do, uh, when I pronounce things like pu, t pu, you know, it stops the air from really hitting the mic and interfering with the sound there it and the purpose is so you don't get things like what we got right here and uh, i don't know if it's pop filter broke something wrong with the mixing but that's a very tragic <laughs> a very tragic uh issue to have with a cover especially since it's not related to like the skills of the vocalist it's just the recording situation or the mixing or something was wrong with that but aside from that, you know, I'm very, very happy with this cover. This sounded amazing. I really, really liked it. And the guitar 
I honestly sometimes stole the show for me because sometimes there's just some awesome guitar licks in here and Gavis always sounded nice you know he's got this nasal quality to his voice and he owns it and he makes it his signature and it sounds so pleasant to the ear I really really like what he did with his voice here we got some good growls almost bordering to a scream at the end on the U on that sustain there but he pulled away from the sustain came up high used his nasal equality and it sounds so good I really really like what Gavis did here as always Feel free to recommend more in the comments below. Aside from that, I will see you all in next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.